welcome to my channel, Mara. I am back with a new video. If you're new here, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Miriam. We'd love to have you subscribe and join us for more videos. If you're not new here, then welcome back. What's up? So, if you guys can tell, we're in the bathroom yet again because I'm going to be showing you guys my nightly skincare routine. It's a bit more extensive than my morning skincare routine. I use some of the same products, but I also add some oil, some masks. So I'll show you guys all of that that I do. And as always, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hair back because I don't want to get it all wet. You know, I don't want to ruin it. Just use a scrunchie. There we go. That'll do. Next thing I'm going to do is wash my hands because as I said in my morning skincare routine, very important to have clean hands. So I had a full day, ran some errands, saw a movie, I saw Ocean's 8. It was a pretty good movie by the way. But um, I'm wearing makeup and I've had this on all day so it's time for me to take it off. One thing I absolutely always, always do, I always have to take off my makeup. Like It's so, so important. If you sleep in your makeup, it's just not going to be really good for your skin. So it's super, super important to take it off. So first I'm going to take off my makeup with makeup wipes. And I just got these from CVS. So pretty basic. We'll just take them off. It's really important to take off your makeup every time you wear it so that your pores don't get clogged. Go gentle on the eyes. All right, so now that that's all off, we'll just throw that in the garbage. So next, since the makeup wipe is good to like get off a lot of your makeup, but it really doesn't get off all of it, I always love to go in with a micellar water and a cotton rod just so I can sweep it clean and make sure I get every last bit of makeup. This one is from Simple. And it's the micellar cleansing water. Micellar water is really good to cleanse your skin. And then what's also good about it is that it doesn't strip your skin of like all the oils and such. It just kind of cleans it and it leaves it super moisturized. So this obviously isn't clean. So it shows that the makeup wipe didn't pick up on everything. Which is why it's really important to go in with a micellar water or something to just like make sure it's super, super clean. Another helpful tip is when you're taking off your eye makeup. If you just take two cotton rounds with either eye makeup remover or micellar water and you hold it on your eyes for about 10 seconds, all the makeup will melt away and then you can wipe it off and a lot of it will be on the cotton rounds. All right, time's up. Yeah, see all of that? Still on my eyes. So the makeup wipe didn't clean off everything, especially with eye makeup. So just a helpful tip that I like to do because mascara can be stubborn sometimes. Now that I'm done with that and I got all the makeup off, it's time to go and cleanse my skin. I'm using the same cleanser that I use in my morning skincare routine, which is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap. Just go ahead and do that. Lather it with some water. Cleanse. I can never do it so graceful as like the commercials. I'm gonna pat my face dry. It's key to be gentle with your skin so that you don't irritate it at all. Let me fix my eyebrows. Better. <laughs> so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a mask. And I don't do one every single night, but I do try to like keep up with it. The mask that I'm going to be doing tonight is my strongest and favorite mask. It's the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. And I'm sure you've seen this stuff everywhere. It's literally like taken over the internet. But it's just because it's so good. So what I do is I just take a little bit of this and I'll put it into a plastic Tupperware and they say to use plastic and not any metal. I'm not sure why. I think it just like maybe it messes with the ingredients and stuff. And then you mix in some apple cider vinegar. It's basically just equal part of the mask and equal part of the apple cider vinegar. And I used to substitute that for water when I like was in college and I didn't have apple cider vinegar. And it is not the same effect. I highly recommend that with this you go out and get apple cider vinegar because it's just going to work that much better. So I mix it all up. And then, now this mask is really strong so I only do it about like once a week. But it's such a good way to just clean everything out of my pores and it's really good if you have oily skin because it's clay so it'll take care of that. I'm going to spread it on my face with a makeup brush. Oh, it's so smooth. 
Make sure I have a nice even layer. I don't really focus it anywhere, I just kind of put it everywhere. I'm trying to get it to like look good. Okay, yep. Never do I do a math and it doesn't get on my clothes. Just go in with the extra and just add a bit more. So since the mask is on, I know, I've never looked better. I'm gonna go and wait for this to dry. It usually takes like anywhere from like 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. So you know you wanna take it off when it's either fully dry or when you could feel it like pumping, like you'll feel it working. I'm gonna go and I'll be back and once this is dry, we'll wash it off. 20 minutes later. All right, I'm back. So as you can see, the mask has changed color. That's because it's dry. It's also like crackly and I can't open my mouth more than this. So it's time for me to wash it off. I always use warm water and then like gently rub it off. Now that the face mask is off and my face is clean, it feels really smooth but it also feels a bit tight. That's because the clay really like got rid of all the oils and stuff. So it's time for me to nurse my dry face back to moisture. First I'm going to go in with some witch hazel toner and this is a TN Dickinson's witch hazel. I'm just going to wipe a cotton round on my face to further just like clean my face, get rid of any leftover mask or anything, and also to restore moisture back into my face. So now I'm going to go in with hyaluronic acid, which I talked about in my morning routine. Um, but the hyaluronic acid, basically it's a serum, so it's highly concentrated. And it's going to help keep my face moisturized. It basically like attracts moisture onto the skin. A little goes a long way with this, but a lot goes a longer way. So I use a lot with this. I'm going to spread that around down to my neck. And once I feel like it's spread, I'm going to pat it into my skin. Again, patting the products into your skin just makes sure that they really sink into the skin and they absorb better. So the next product I'm going to go in with is an oil. And I've been getting a lot into oils recently. It's important to like look at what actually could be beneficial to your skin type. Even though I have oily skin, it's still fine for me to apply oils at night. So I'm going to be going in with this rosehip oil and some of the benefits of rosehip oil are that it protects from aging, which it's never too early to start, and it also like rejuvenates the skin. My favorite part of this is that it's a natural toner and it heals scars. So if you have any scarring going on, it really heals it. And I've really seen a difference that it fades my scars and just heals them naturally. Now with this, a little really goes a long way. So I actually only use a little bit. So I'm gonna drop a little bit on my cheeks and then I'm going to spread this around. And this is the most relaxing part of my skincare routine. Just like taking the time to make sure that everything's absorbed and just being super gentle with my skin and patting it in. It's really like therapeutic. Sometimes I just spend like 10-15 minutes just like standing here patting my skin. It's a skincare routine. It's your self-care. So I think it's important if you take the time for yourself to do good for your skin and also just relax. Pretty sure that's all in now. By this point, I really need to apply some chapstick. So I go in with my trusty Vaseline. I absolutely love Vaseline haven't used anything other than Vaseline for like years. I went through a lot of other types of chapsticks and just nothing works as good as Vaseline. I could have the absolute most dried chapped lips in the world and then put on Vaseline and after like five minutes my lips will be extremely extremely soft so Vaseline is my holy grail and I swear by it. The one I use is cocoa butter. Next I'm going to go in with some of my cucumber spray and like I said in my morning routine I usually use the Mario Badescu one, but I just had this laying around. Your skin actually absorbs products better when it's wet or damp. So that's why I like to spray this on in between steps just to like keep my face damp so that it's the best for absorbing. So the next two products I'm going to go in are from my dermatologist. And the first one I actually use my morning routine. These are just products that were prescribed to me that work for me to help clear my skin. So... If you guys are having any skin issues or concern, it's good to go to your dermatologist because they can really help you out. And then to finish it all off, I top it off with a bit more of the cucumber spray just to feel, you know, good, refreshed, moisturized, and help all the products melt in. Alright, so that was my nightly skincare routine that I do in the summer. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Now that I look all 
oily and moisturized, it's perfect time for me to go to sleep and let this all sink in. And by go to sleep, I mean stay up really late watching Jane the Virgin. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what products you love for your skincare routine, if you guys use any of the same ones that I do. And also let me know what kind of videos you like to see. Make sure to click the subscribe button down below so that you know what videos come out that I make. And I hope you guys are having a really good morning, night, or evening. And I hope you come back soon to check out more videos. But thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!